guys welcome back to another MRI procedures video today we're going to be discussing and showing you how to scan an MRA of the head so as always we start with patient positioning supine head first body position is going to be mid sagittal line perpendicular to the alignment light landmark nasion of the skull the coil is going to be an a channel or 16 channel brain coil support underneath your knees earplugs or some music uh, to help that patient get through it uh, with some cushions on the side for stability we have our localizer running now, which should be coming out any second. And essentially what you're going to be doing here is covering the uh, arterial flow of the brain. Okay, so this is all the oxygenated blood coming from the heart to the brain. Okay, so you want to run, um, you know, your slices perpendicular to the flow. Okay, what's going to be important here is saturation bands. Okay, saturation bands are going to essentially... Uh, obstruct the flow of venous blood flow and only highlight arterial flow okay so as you can see here we have a saturation band that's superior okay and that will saturate out any venous flow coming back down from the brain okay we can see we have the proper coil selected on uh, you're going to be covering just above the dome of the corpus callosum to the inferior aspect of the uh, cerebellum plus, you know, a few inches. Okay, we're going to get that started. This should be about a six minute sequence. So in the meantime, we're going to go over some typical uh, MRA head protocols. So usually depending on every site, like we always say, no site is created equally. So uh, a good way to start is a nice sagittal T1 brain. Okay, this is going to just outline any midline structures. So we know exactly where in the uh, brain we're looking at and allows us to cover uh, exactly where we want to cover, you know, from that sagittal standpoint when we're uh, essentially putting out those axial slices. So what you're going to do is an axial 2D time of flight, and you're going to plot your slices, like we said, straight um, between the inferior of the foramen magnum and then as superior as the dome of the corpus callosum. Okay, some parameters for the MRA brain is, you know, a field of view of 22 approximately, Slice thickness of 1.2, overlapping loc is around 4, locations per slab is like 32. You can do a matrix of 256 by 160, depending on the site, a TR of around 23, a flip angle of around 25. And you want to make sure, again, that you want to have that saturation band on the superior part of the head here. So as we continue on, this uh, MRA uh, is an actual MRA head and an MRA neck together. So we're also positioning for the neck, which we will cover in a separate section. Um, so just kind of running through a couple of brain highlights here um, regarding the MRA head. Uh, the anterior aspect of the cow or the circle of Willis is composed of the most superior aspects of the right and left internal carotid arteries, okay? The posterior aspect of the circle of Willis is composed of the conjoining of the right and left vertebral arteries, uh, which is also called the basilar artery. The vertebral arteries pass through both the foramen magnum and the vertebral foramina. Okay, and due to the utilization of the 2D time of flight, no contrast is actually needed for an exam like this. Okay, so there's no contrast injection. Uh, it's actually using flow compensation, which allows us to um, you know, sat saturate out venous flow and highlight the, uh, that arterial flow. Some clinical concerns on, you know, why you would do an MRA of the head. Uh, mainly, uh, it's likely going to be a, cere a cerebral aneurysm that we're trying to rule out or some cerebral stenotic disease. All right, so as we conclude this uh, scan here, we can see that um, you're going to be left with something called source imaging. Uh, so this case does require post-processing where you're able to essentially um, do something called mipping where you're going to be cutting any uh, external um, unnecessary anatomy out so you can focus specifically on the circle of Willis. So that source image here is on the bottom right that we're scrolling through just to make sure that there is no um, motion or degrading of image quality. Uh, we can see we're, you know, sort of highlighting it out. Uh, and then what you would do is take this and post-process it. You would do something called a tumble and a rotational view. So uh, you would send that to the radiologist as well. So you're seeing specifically uh, the arterial flow of the brain. 
So to conclude this exam, uh, we have some good quality images here. So what you would do is essentially send it over, uh, do a little bit of post-processing and mipping and send it off to the radiologist. So I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to subscribe and help the channel out. We appreciate it. Bye-bye.